Hi, I'm Warcraft Free Tutorial and today we're gonna take a look at this model here. We're gonna reduce the file size by deleting some frames which we don't need. As you can see, the model has 17 megabyte and the first thing what you should do is importing the whole model into 3ds Max. So after importing, we want to um, export it to FBX. But before we're going to do that, we have to use a new tool which is implemented by the guy who uh, made the other script for us, which I showed in the video before. And you can download the updated Neodex version here at my server under Warcraft Free Tools. And here I am under Plugins, 3ds Max Plugins, you can find the new updated Neodex with this awesome tool so first we're gonna import the model as i said and then we go to neodex animation tools and then when we scroll down you can see save sequence name and load sequence name so we're gonna save the sequence name here as text file call it animation so animation save okay as you can see it says 32 animation has been saved in this text file so then we close it and the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to export the model to FBX. We're going to change it to test FBX, replace it, yes. And then you have to um, use the same settings as I do right now. I'm going to scroll down here, bake animations. Mm, we should wait, we should change the go to neodex here sorry oh clicking on the wrong button i'm sorry go to neodex neodex extra sequence manager and go to run here like that and then we change it from 2531 to zero so like that okay test all animations in then we go to export Test FBX, yes, and then make sure you have the settings here. It's really important that you activate down here the key reducer to 0 0.1. That's the most important part and the rest is, as you can see, not that important. And then we press on OK and we wait in until the model got exported to FBX. And the next thing what we're going to do, we're going to import the model the fbx file oh wait we have to reset first don't save yes then we have to import the model again the fbx file here and then it's, you don't have to make anything special like make it like that so then go to import it So when we import it, we can see it has a lot of frames and it's a little bit buggy here and there, but that's totally fine. But what we also see, if we go to the Neodex X to the sequence manager, there is no sequence anymore because exporting a model to FBX deletes the animation nodes. So, but we have a really cool tool, which I used before. It's the animation tools and down there, it's the save sequence names. That means it saved all the animation nodes in a text file. And now what I'm gonna do is load the sequence name, go make sure we're gonna select the same animation text file, which we created. And then as you can see, um, 32 animation has been loaded. And when we're going to open the sequence manager now again, all animations with which we're going to export it are back. So that means we just saved a lot of time by using the script. And then the only thing what we have to do now is exporting the model again back to Warcraft 3 with this settings and then wait until it's done. Let's call it Kurama link, but number two. And then just wait in until it's done. So it's done with exporting. And then when we're gonna open it up here, we can see we reduced the whole file size from 17 megabyte to 2.68 megabyte. So I hope you enjoyed and liked the tutorial. 
and I hope it will help you in your future project, uh, projects by ripping models and try to reduce the file size because the file reducer from FBX does nothing else than deleting unnecessary frames which are not used in an animation. So, and after all these optimizations, um, as you can see, our model is a lot smaller. And yeah, if you have any question, you can write down in the comments below or on my Discord server. And bye-bye.